Hey my YouTube friends, this is Joe doing a quick, uh, I guess this time it's something new, different, a unboxing and a quick impressions on the Spyderco Rody. And if you can hear some noise, I'm trying to do it outside because in New Jersey it's probably we're having one of the nicest days we've had yet this year. You can definitely tell spring is here and summer is on its way. Okay, let's get to this. I just got it in the mail. Uh, I usually like to do, um, you know, reviews with you to, after I've had the knife for a while, or at least I've got a chance to uh, to cut with it and fool around with it. But this time, I'm doing something different, right out of the package. So here it is. Just came in the mail today, and it's from you can see that HKS. It's also written on the back, which stands for House Knife Shop. Got a good deal on this. Um, it was, uh, I forget what they usually go for, anywhere from $40 to $50 each, but I got this one for $39.99 $39 plus shipping. Now you might say, Joe, you do deal alerts, how come you didn't let us know about this? Well, Howe's Knife Shop, they put the deal out there, and usually they don't have a, like a big stock when they put a deal out there, so it was like, unless you're there in five minutes, by the time I would have made that uh, deal alert video, it would have been gone. So, I just happened to be on top of my email when the deal alert came so I picked one up just came in the mail about an hour ago so I'm doing a quick unboxing so here it is so let's get to it it's gonna bust out Gonzo slice through that the model number on this is the Spyderco C189 let's put that to the side put the Gonzo to the side Very small box. Feels like the same size box as a what's that other spider called? Ladybug, I believe, because I have one of those. Okay. So let's go over the usual. There's your box. Standard box. Nothing special. I opted with, I'm so tired of getting the the same old, same old. Black handles, orange handles. Black handles, orange handles. So, I went radical this time. And, hmm. I went radical and asked for a blue. And I got orange. Well, I guess I wasn't that radical. Maybe the, this guy must know, know me to usually get a, a, a blue, a orange, and I got orange one. But what the hell, I like orange. So, there goes my desire for an orange. So, I'm going to have to take that up with... Uh, with how how's a very good uh, with deals though I mean he's a very uh, it's a small operated uh, company the link is in my uh, is in my comments so if you ever want to visit the website you can so let's take you around the knife I am I gotta admit uh, even though I'm a fan of orange I was a little disappointed to open up the box and see orange I was kind of psyched to get the blue but anyway what are you gonna do I'm gonna keep it you know I like orange. So, let me open it up for you. I mean, just seeing it in hands of right now, I gotta admit, it's a little smaller than I expected. I thought it might be a little bigger. But, in the true sense of the word, this is basically a pen knife. I'm gonna show you some size comparisons and tell you a little bit about it, a little bit I know from my notes. Uh, it's one of your rare Spydecos that you can't really use the the hole. You have to use the indentation right here because the hole is not going to get you anywhere. As you can see, I can't even get my hand in there. But pull it out from the indentation. As you can see, there's no locking mechanism. It's a slip joint. Uh, has a nice feel. The handle's FRN, fiber reinforced nylon. The blade material is, I believe it's N690CO. I'm sure the CO stands for carbon. If not, I'm probably wrong. Um, what else? The blade length, just a shy over two inches. The full length of the, of the knife is five, just a shy over five inches. Let me show you centering. 
Let's see what the centering looks like. Uh, hopefully that's coming out on the camera. Centering's okay. Again, what are you going to use this for? Opening up a package, opening up mail, quick cut. Now, to show you size comparison, I just did a review the other day of the Elkridge Gentleman's folder. And I have that here. So let me zoom in. So there are the two knives together. So you can get an idea. Now if that doesn't help, let's get the old trusty $5 bill. So there's a size comparison for you. Very small knife, very light. I believe it said uh, in my notes the one ounce. I mean, I haven't put this in my pocket because you, obviously you've seen I just took it out of the package, but you can barely feel it in your hands. And here it is in my hands. You know, very light, but very nice. I mean, did you really, you can't expect anything less from Spyderco. Spyderco's top notch. Um, I got a bit. I mean, yeah, I haven't cut anything with it. I'm just feeling it, but it does feel wicked sharp. And another thing to expect always from Spyderco. I mean, I, I can't think of a time that I got a brand new Spyderco knife and it wasn't super duper sharp. And even if it didn't come sharp, I mean, if it's not as sharp as usual, I picked up the, the Sharp Maker late, uh, recently to go along with my uh, work sharp, uh, sharp Maker. So just before this year, I didn't have any sh sharpeners. Now I have two. So there it is. I don't know if anything more I can tell you about it. Nice feel, nice knife. If you're in the market for something for a pen knife and you want to go a little more, a little more extravagant than the uh, than the Elkridge, then this is your knife. Let's see if I can get the focus. Hopefully that's coming in. Let me get the money out of the way just in case the camera's focusing on the money. Big difference from this and the Gonzo, just for the hell of it. <laughs> Dramatic. Just figure I'd get a kick out of putting them both in the same picture. But anyway, this is my first impression. So my first impression are very nice. Not sure if it's, you know, pen knives are, are cheap, you know, so to spend $50 on a pen knife, it's kind of high. But as pen knives go, this is about as this is as good as it gets. It's really nice. The Spyderco Roadie. Thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you enjoyed my video. Take care.